my dear brother and sister warm welcome to carmel light and fraternal greetings from the carmelite fathers it's the 23rd of may thursday of the 5th week of easter the holy gospel according to john chapter 15 verses 9 to 11 at that time jesus said to his disciples as the father has loved me so have i loved you abide in my love if you keep my commandments you will abide in my love just as i have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love these things i have spoken to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ love is composed of a single soul inhabiting two bodies love is composed of a single soul inhabiting two bodies who said this aristotle who is he a greek philosopher there is a universal human quest for being loved and cared and this hunger for love is much more difficult to be satisfied than the hunger for bread but do you know the love that produces immeasurable joy do you know that love produces immeasurable joy Jesus speaks of such a love which the father and he have for those who belong to him we can never outdo god in love because he has loved us without measure with the love that offers grace life peace and joy Today we are called to love for love's sake. For the sake of Christ, who is the fount of genuine, authentic love. It is for no other reason, but for pure love that Christ paid a costly price, which we celebrate every time when we break bread. a life as Christ's disciples is and should be a love offering a gift to the other the love of god which is in us has to be recognized responded to and passed on if hatred paralyzes life love releases it if hatred confuses life love harmonizes it and if hatred darkens life love illumines it love is most weak when there is more doubt than there is trust but love is most strong when we learn to trust even with all the doubts this is the beauty of god's love for us This is the goal of Christian living to remain in Christ's love 
and to be filled with joy robert browning an english poet and playwright rightly said take away love and our earth is a tomb take away love and our earth is a tomb we are all called for a mission in this life you and i are blessed to know the truth that god is love therefore let's spread this truth with haste and without reserve it said that love and cough cannot be hidden love and cough cannot be hidden let us pray my dear friends as we see in today's bible diary it's the wedding anniversary of dinesh babu and joslyn sequera from goa mark and hilda rodriguez from mudbidre albert and felsi fernandes from ferrar mangalore congratulations my dear couples may god bless your family life as we pray the novena prayer to infant jesus let's remember all our intentions intentions of our family our friends near and dear ones the sick and the age the children the young married couples couples who are praying for peace and understanding in the family for the gift of a child the young ones who are looking for a good match for suitable job children who are writing their exams students who begin their new academic year who are looking for a for admission in a good college or a school let's pray for good monsoons this year o holy infant jesus through your life on earth you reveal to us by many marvels your hidden power so now bless us abundantly with your uplifted hand and graciously deign to hear the petitions of all those who call upon you in faith and trust amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen o infant jesus bless us and hear our prayers o miraculous infant jesus look upon us as we turn to you imploring your assistance in our needs and anxieties let your compassionate heart be moved to pity by our supplications and grant us the favor which we urgently implore you free us from all affliction and despair all trials and misfortunes and give us your support and consolation so that we may praise you and the father and the holy spirit now and forever amen thanksgiving prayer o most generous infant jesus we on our knees have come to express our deep thankfulness to you 
for all the favors we have received at your hands. We believe, Jesus, that together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you are our Creator and Savior. Henceforth, we place all our trust in you. Through this miraculous statue, may your devotion be spread throughout the world and may all people pay homage to your holy childhood and gain thereby untold divine blessings and favors. All praise and honor be to the infant Jesus. Amen. Pray for God's blessing, my dear friends. May the Lord Jesus be with you to defend you. May he be with you to sustain you. May he go before you to show you the way. May he follow you to guard you. From above, may he bless you with the Father and the Holy Spirit, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Don't forget to share this audio and the text message to your friends and contacts. And today at the Infant Jesus Shrine, my dear friends, at 10.30, there is a special Mass for children. Very soon they are going to begin their academic year in India. There is this special Mass for them. We invite the parents and the children to this Mass at 10.30 in the morning. That's all for today, my dear friends. I am Father Stephen Pereira, Carmelite Priest. And my WhatsApp number is 9481263229. And today is the counting of the elections, I mean the votes in India. Let's pray that a government that respects humanity, respects all religion, and the Constitution of India may be elected. God bless you.